What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing chapter 22, problem 13, in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition, by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 22 is all about electric fields. And uh, chapter 13, we are actually given a figure that looks similar to this one. So we have a charged particle here here and here and we have a point here in the middle and we'll call this distance here distance D we call that same distance and these two are equal distance and we'll call this just point I don't know point one and we are told that um uh this these two charges so we'll say this is a this is b this is c uh charge a and c are equal which and they equal one electron and um point b is let me make that a little bit bigger point b is equal to two e's so to find the uh, electric, so we are asked to find uh, the magnitude and direction of the electric field at point P due to these other particles, and the since this since these both have the same charge and the same distance away from each other, uh, they actually will not have any effect on the particle. So it's only going to be only going to be particle B. So we know that uh, electric field is equal to Q or charge um, over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 r squared. And we know that that charge is 2 electrons, so we'll say 2e over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 r squared. And we know our radius and um, if this is distance D and this is a 45-45-90 triangle, we know that the distance between point 1 and point B and charge B is going to be um, distance over root 2. So this is going to equal 2E over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 and then D over root 2, that squared. And so that's going to equal... 2e over 4 pi epsilon sub 0 d squared over 2. And then that'll actually cancel out with this 4 here. And you'll be left with 2e over 2 pi epsilon 0 d squared. And then finally, if you get rid of those 2s, you're left with e over pi uh, epsilon zero d squared. And we know all these values, so we can actually plug them right in. We have 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th over pi times 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12th. And our distance here which um, is six point, um, or six times 10 to the negative six. And that's gonna be squared. And when you put all that into your calculator, you should get 160 Newtons per Coulomb for the electric field. And the direction, if you look here, um, since these are electrons, they are negatively charged and this point um, the assumption is that it's positive, so it'll go towards the um, towards particle B. So that means the electric field will be pointed this way, which is um, 45 degrees, and we can say um, like 45 degrees counterclockwise of the x-axis. So counterclockwise of the x-axis. Alright, so that's it for this problem, 
If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.